Hey guys, welcome to your 10th Objective-C tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you another type of loop you can use and this is a while loop. And all loops basically do the same thing, they'll just iterate through the code you want it to. But the difference between a while loop and a for loop is that when you use a for loop, usually you're using it because you want to loop a certain number of times but when you use a while loop it's usually when you don't know exactly how many times you want your program to loop and I'm just gonna start doing one just so you could actually understand when you may not know how many times you want your program to reiterate let's just start with a few integers u, v, and temp then we're gonna get an ns log just so we could tell our user what to do Please type two positive integers. And then we're going to do that new scanf function for two integers, percent %i, percent %i. And then we're going to use the ampersands to tell it it goes to u and v. And make sure these are in order. Don't want v and u getting the opposite values. All right, let's go while and here we're going to enter the condition and we're going to say when v is not equal to zero and a not equals is just an exclamation point and an equal sign that basically tells the compiler as long as v is equal to something other than zero keep looping next we're going to type in temp give it a value of u and then we're going to use a percent sign and then v and so what this percent sign is, is it's a modulus, and what's, what it's going to do is it's going to take the remainder of this equation. So say it's, let's just say u is 15 and v is 10, it would be 15 divided by 10, the remainder is 5, so temp will take the value of 5. Next, we're going to make u equal v, and then v equal temp. Let's ns log and output, and we're going to say the greatest common divisor is percent %i, and then we're going to make it u. So let's just run this. Compiling, OK. Sweet, build succeeded. Now something's going to pop up in the output right here. There we go. Please type two positive integers. Let's do 150 and 35. And it says the greatest common divisor is 5. And how it did that is it started with 150 divided by 35. And the remainder of that is 10. So temp takes this value of 10. And what happens next is u equals v. So now u will take v's value. u is going to be 35 for the next loop, and v is going to take temp's value. So u is going to be 35, and v is going to be 10. And it's going to go through the loop again with 35, and then divide by 10 to find the remainder. And basically it takes three loops, and then in the last loop, it is 10 modulus 5. And that doesn't have a remainder, so then v equals 0 and it tells us that the greatest common divisor is 5. Let's do another one, just, you know, why not? All right, build succeeded. Do a little bigger numbers. Let's go 1026 and 540. Greatest common divisor is 54. Sweet. So now we have this little program, our while loop, which runs as many times as it needs to. It doesn't have an exact value and that's why while loops can be better than for loops. Basically you'll just choose which your code would need, whichever is more useful in that certain situation. Okay, let's do another little program with a while loop in it just so we could get it into our heads. Let's do another int number and write digit. We're going to ns log again to tell our user what to do. Enter your number. And it could be any number, just make sure it's greater than zero. And then we're going to do scanf for our 
integer. And it's going to go into number. All right. While number is not equal to 0, we're going to do the exclamation point and then equal sign again for not equals. Right digit is equal to number modulus 10. And we're going to go ns log percent i right digit number divided by equals 10. And so this last thing, what it does is it divides it by 10 and then sets number equal to that answer. Instead of having a long one where it's number equals number divided by 10, you could shorten it up with this little thing right here. And let's just run it, and then I'll explain it after. Sweet, build succeeded. Enter our number. Let's make it 15793. All right, and it goes right through it from the back. It goes 39751. So basically what our program does is it outputs the very right digit of the number, and it goes from the right to the left. And how it does that is it takes the modulus of the number, which will get this very end to be the remainder because it's divided by 10, and so it outputs that remainder, and then we divide this by 10, so the remainder will be the next number in line. All right, that should do it for this tutorial. Hope you learned a little about while loops, and I'll see you next time.